Have you ever heard about the current global energy crisis? Have you ever heard about net zero building? Have you ever considered AI can play a role in optimizing energy usage? Does AI provide us with the perfect solution for energy management system? With over 15 years of experience in power distribution and an accomplished PhD in application of AI in power system, I would say yes, AI can be beneficial, but it's crucial to know how to handle difficulties that may arise during its application. I'm Dr. Lilia Tirtis, an assistant professor from AI software department of Gachon University. Please stay with me during the upcoming minutes since I tell you more about our deep reinforcement learning based solution for net zero building energy management system. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's first, uh, first start uh, by know more about what's uh, the element of net zero residential microgrid. First of all, we have the generation unit. The generation unit may include conventional generator and renewable energy sources. And we have also energy storages, which is a reservoir for um, uh, saving the surplus power of renewable energy sources and as a backup for uh, generation uh, side when the other generation units are not available. We also have our loads, which can be responsive loads, can take part in the demand response program or emergency loads, which never tolerate any interruption in the services. Let's uh, complete our idea about NZRMG NZ, uh, and uh, connect the NZRMG to the utility grid at the point of common coupling in the point that NZRMG can sell or purchase power from or to the utility grid. Uh, there are three challenges in um, uh, provision EMS unit for NZRMG. First of all, we have business, uh, we need to uh, determine the business model of uh, NZRMG. And this business model actually provide us and give us the information about the stakeholder of the system because we need to know what are the stakeholder of the system to arrange EMS and determine what are the uh, cost functions and what are the element constraints. And the last part is solution algorithm, which we uh, consider here as deep reinforcement learning because deep reinforcement learning can, can provide us online solution and it supports uh, the uh, and it supports the sequential learning and uncertainty in NZRMG because uh, deep reinforcement learning can support of online learning and deep reinforcement learning uh, can um, learn sequentially and can support the uncertainty in load and uh, renewable energy sources which are the element of NZRMG so we choose deep reinforcement learning and let's take a look at the overview of deep reinforcement learning. Deep reinforcement learning include an agent which is a brain of the system and interact with the environment and receive a feedback which is called reward function. And uh, based on this interaction with the environment, it can learn how to get, how to do the action with high reward. If we just put our uh, environment into the framework of the deep reinforcement learning. First, we have the, our deep reinforcement learning as an EMS unit, and our environment will be the NZRMG. Our solution uh, sh should have some characteristic. First of all, it should support the, any future extension of the system, and then we need to respect the constraint. For uh, respecting the future extension of the system and supporting the future extension of the system, we arrange our cost function and constraint based on mixed integer nonlinear programming. And for co our constraint actually can be uh, depends on the element of the system, like uh, battery energy so storage system, we need to respect SOC boundaries and we need to uh, provide a, a balance between the consumption and generation. So this constraint actually should 
apply in the reward function. If we define the reward function based on mixed integer nonlinear programming cost function, therefore we've, uh, we will have explicit reward, which, uh, which actually support the future extension of the system. But how about the constraint? Our constraint can be applied in the cost function like a very negative uh, re uh, reward. And this very negative reward, which will result in a, um, a sparse reward problem. So in any um, exceeding the constraint of the system, the agent will receive a very negative reward. So it will completely quit from the learning process. So how we can solve this problem? What is the solution? It's now the transfer learning comes to play. And by transfer learning, we define several tasks for the system. And we divided the task of the system to several parts and try to first train the system to consider and respect the extreme behavior of the system, extreme behavior and constraint of the system. So a step by a step, we transfer the parameter of uh, the deep reinforcement learning to the, to, from each task to other tasks. And uh, by applying the transfer learning to the conventional deep reinforcement learning method, you can see here that uh, the purple line, which shows the, uh, our solution, our proposed solution. So you can see that the learning process is so uh, stable and faster compared to other conventional methods. And the other advantages of the system that proves the efficiency of our proposed method is that uh, it provides more uh, profit for the stakeholder of the system. When you compare between different uh, conventional methods of uh, deep reinforcement learning and our proposed method, you can see that it provides and satisfies all of the stakeholders um, to make profit. So this method will help all of the stakeholder to make profit, more profit and uh, therefore we will uh, help the pen uh, increasing the penetration of NZRMG. It will also help in solving the global energy crisis. Uh, thanks for your interest for our deep reinforcement learning based energy management solution for, uh, uh, for net zero residential building. Now it's your turn. Try to explore one of AI methods to, sol uh, to help solving energy cri global crisis. Fighting 